What's up everybody? Old School NYC Gamer back once again with another video. Today is going to be a tag response video I'm doing for Tommy Boy 4550's Top 5 NES and Top 5 Super NES games. Now before I get into the countdown here, uh, couldn't really get into my Super NES games. A lot of that stuff's put away in storage, but thankfully I do have a lot of my NES games out and I went through quite a bit of them, looked through a lot of them and pick these five and to me it's more for about nostalgia replayability and just all out sheer fun and we'll get into that right now so let's bust out into number five and that is Top Gun now you're gonna be wondering why the hell would I even pick this game to start off now these were one of the first games that my mom bought me when I first got my NES back in 86 and it was definitely not a bad flight simulator slash shoot 'em up game and you know it's a semi-underrated game that Konami released back then. Uh, I know a lot of people will hate on this game, say that it sucks, this and that. And even the angry video game there spoofed off this game. But uh, it's not really that bad of a game if you give it a chance. You know, try it out. You know, see what you think. And, you know, it's pretty cheap. And you could get it on almost any flea market if you could find one. So right there is number five, and that is Top Gun. Number four... And this was re originally released in the arcades and then ported over to the NES, and that is Kung Fu. Now, of course, if you ever watched the Bruce Lee movie, uh, The Game of Death, if I actually got the name of that movie right, yeah, that's what it's basically uh, based off of. You know, you have five stages, you have to fight five bosses to save your girlfriend. And I uh, had quite a bit of fun playing this game in the arcade and uh, had this game just for a little bit and played it over a friend's house when he would lend it to me. And this is definitely a really good game too, guys. Definitely get this one if you get a chance. And that is number four. If I can not <laughs> knock that over. And number three is yet another Konami classic. And yet again ported over for the arcades to the Nintendo. And that is Russian Attack. And I'm eventually going to be doing a gameplay, a gameplay video of this. Just to see how far I could get. Because I have not played this game... In quite a long time. It's definitely a fun shoot 'em up. And it's basically roughly based on uh, your commando just saving hostages in uh, communist Russia, which they won't say, but if you watch the game, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And that is going to be number three right there. And at number two, what another shock, yet another Konami game I picked. And that is Gradius. And yet again, this is yet another classic uh, you know, arcade shoot 'em up that was ported over to the Nintendo. I mean, really, you can't go wrong with this. This has been ported on quite a few systems besides the Nintendo. Uh, the MSX, for example, um, uh, quite a few. I mean, freak. You can't uh, go wrong with this, okay? Definitely an awesome, awesome game, and I highly recommend this game. This is number two in my top five NES. Uh, top five NES games, and number one, yet another Konami game. I know I'm being quite freaking biased on this, and this is Blades of Steel. Now, I know a lot of people would actually pick uh, Nintendo's ice hockey over this, but for me, it's more of the realism. I like the way how Blades of Steel's, Blades of Steel sorry, was ported over from the arcade to the NES. And, you know, the fight scenes are hilarious. And to me, the reason why I picked this game was just more because I could play against my friends. Um, definitely has a ton of replayability with, uh, you know, with, with a friend or just for yourself. And of course, with the modes on this, uh, three stage, three stage modes for the tournament, and one on one, play against your friend, this and that. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with that. You know, with that combination, people. So right there, that's my top five NES games. I hope you guys enjoyed this real quick countdown and also tag response to this. Now I'm gonna tag a few YouTubers on here. I don't know if they did their responses yet, but I'm gonna be uh, shouting out Intellivision dude, who I'm tagging. Thomas3120, who is another great YouTuber on here. I know he definitely likes his NES. And uh, a new YouTuber on here, she's been making quite a bit of noise on here. And I definitely want to see what her tag response video is going to be. And that is Mistress Ishbu, which is a 000 Ishbu. I'm sorry if I totally messed that up. But I'm going to leave the links down there, people. And I'm also going to leave those three uh, links, the annotations right up there people so check out their channels people and uh yeah so you three youtubers i would like to see a tag response from you so you'd like to see what your top five nes's 
NES games are, or even your Super Nintendo games, uh, which ones you pick and why. And that's about it, people. Definitely thank you to all my new subscribers who have just been checking my videos out. Uh, yet again, I try to put out the best I can. I'm not looking for millions of subscribers. I'm just giving my view of uh, my little bit of gaming history, retro gaming, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, that's about it, people. Have a great day. Take care. And hope you guys enjoyed the tag response. Uh, if you like to, uh, you know, throw your response into this, I necessarily didn't have to shout you out. But if you want to throw your top five up there, hey, go for it. And, uh, you know, feel free to create a video response and put it in this video. And that's about it. Take care, everybody. Be safe and all that good stuff. Take care. Cheers.